We are the same top and I give in assembly. They say that what is the proof? <laughs> <laughs> I have to take sensor and keep it and in the front and say that oh gentlemen you are giving your CBT. Okay. Cows give out oxygen. No man. Something is this. Well, see, on an average, you give out about 540 to 900 grams of CO2 every day. The younger people with a higher metabolic rate, 900 grams, and the elderly people, 540 grams. Now, one hectare of plant, the tree, removes about 6 to 8 tons of carbon dioxide, CO2 from the system. So, by that ratio, I have said 1 is to 8. 1% is reasonable. Okay. Now, how did I arrive at this? See, I also use remote sensing data to analyze that. Today, the, the better spatial resolution data is available. These are the pictures taken from the satellite at the higher elevation. So, this is my campus. You will see that my campus is 400 acres. So, using GPS, we use map. One of my students did the mapping. We know where, what species are there, what is the age and all those things, what is the girth of that and height of the tree. We link that with the remote sensing data. Similar exercise we did for a couple of wards in the camp, uh, in the Bangalore. With that knowledge, using remote sensing data, we extrapolated for the entire Bangalore. We overlaid the ward boundaries. Ward boundaries when we overlaid, it gave us the data of number of persons and also spatial extent. So that we could say how many trees are there in the ward and how many trees per person in the ward, which ward is better. Okay. So now, see that's what the number gives. Okay. This uh, report is available on the net. Okay. Now, how many trees are there? If you look at 14 lakhs. Can you go a little slow on those slides. I'll come back. Okay. Uh, because I need some. Uh, I'll take your help okay. for that slide. Okay. okay. So, 14 lakh 78 thousand trees are there in Bangalore. Approximately 95 lakh population. And floating population, another. I'm not worried about floating. There is a, if I take the people who are resident here, for every 7 person, one tree is there. Now, when I do this kind of research, people ask, what about other cities? Okay. <coughs> Is it so, or uh, we are better, or better? See, we are all good at comparing ourselves. If my neighbor is in stress, I feel more comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> if that guy is wealthy and healthy, we don't get to that. I don't know. Unfortunately, that is the fact. We all talk about Vasudeva Kutama. But when it comes to this, we look one up machine. So, this is the same question people asked to them. I'll go back one slide now to answer that. Which are the city? What is the thing? See, for example, Gandhi Nagar, for every person, there are four trees. Once, it was 32 trees. About three decades back. I met the forester who had done the planting. Remarkable job. And today, in his lifetime, he said that now in my region also, it has become understood. You know that my campus, 400 acres. We have 5,000 people, 22,000 trees. Only in my campus, four per, per person, four trees are there. And Nasi has every person, two trees are there. Okay? Now you know that who is the Prime Minister of the country. I would say one of the attributes for a Prime Minister is in his backyard, at least four trees should be there. So now by that criteria, only ISCM can become an ex-prime minister. <laughs> 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 so this is what is. If somebody wants to come, they, they have to do the green. Now, see how intelligent the politicians are. They have picked up this. Last, the council election, you would have seen, will make Bangalore green. ISA report says 7% one tree. In our term, we will make it at least one tree, one person. At least the message has it. I'm quite happy with that. So, and now there are some of the, uh, once they assert when I'm there, I keep calling them asking, okay, how far you have been? So, that's where we keep checked on the, those people also. Now, importance of the trees and water bodies. I'm sure the elders who are here, it's already there in our literature. We have just missed the tree. Say, for example, Bible, at least 318 times mentions about the water, the trees, etc. linkages. Quran warns us about the likely water wear, water war, if we don't maintain the quality <coughs> of the water. If we pollute the water, there is a certain water war. 
and also they have you know how they have implemented it if you have to visit Darga you have to wash your feet with a clean water otherwise you can't so this is a way that, you know communities if you tell them no no you have to clean the thing the people say so what kind of thing arrogant population people say no no God won't agree if you come with a thing then everybody will listen so now one of the things if you look at even in uh, we talk about advancement in science and technology. Even today, number of species are that mentioned in Garuda Purana. No science has contradicted that. So I am not surprised if your cattle bring out oxygen. You have to disprove it. <laughs> or we have no right to criticize that. I would say that, okay, that's a challenge. If it's given oxygen, let me take that as experiment and do that before I say anything like that. And second thing is, if you look at this one, you know, this is what fascinated me was the link between the water and the tree and the children. If you have a well at home, go well deep. You have the water for a family, a cluster of family. Ten wells are equal to one lake. Ten lakes are equivalent to one sarovar. Ten sarovar is equal to one child and ten children are equivalent to one tree. The benefit of having ten children you can get it by planting and nurturing a tree. So, I had this known to my friend, Lalo Yadav, who mm -hmm. had 11 projects. You know, that, let him have 11, I have no issue, because anyway, youth in the country we require. But, you see that next to the lake, Sankey Lake, the same mantri as uh, this one, the apartment, again my report has told them. So, this guy has booked Four apartment for one son. I don't know why. One, four apartment for one son. That itself is, we struggle to have one uh, for child. But anyway, that is the way they live the life. Okay? Now, sir, when you took all this, what about the uh, rate kind of pollution? That is something uh, totally love. You are only talking about uh, oxygen, carbon dioxide. What about there is so much of waste and pollution? 